Thanks for joining Book Reviews with Parisa, where I share my latest book reviews so you'll always have a book to read. I got you covered with great books. Subscribe to my channel on Book Reviews with Parisa and turn the notification on. And comment below and tell me what you think about this video. Also, I'm on Instagram. Follow me, Books with Parisa, for the latest on books and more. Today's book review is on this fabulous book by the name of Eight Rules of Love. How to Find It, Keep It, and Let It Go by the author Jay Shetty, one of my favorites. It is a non-fiction, self-help book, kind of, and it is 320 pages, and it recently came out. It came out the beginning of this year, 2023. The reading level is not difficult at all. It is super easy, fast read. The synopsis of this book is that Jay Shetty is genius. He is simply brilliant. His book is magnificently crafted in his monk-like ways with a modern twist. He explains the principles of love through anecdotes of present-day examples of love mixed with Vedic wisdom and modern science. Love does not only imply to a partner, but to a community as a whole. It is all encompassing. That's the beauty of his book. In this book, he lays out specific actionable steps to help develop skills to practice and nurture love. He shares his eight rules of love. And let me tell you what they are. One, let yourself be alone. Number two, don't ignore your karma. Number three, define love before you think it, feel it, or say it. Number four, your partner is your guru. Number five, purpose comes first. Number six, win or lose together. Number seven, you don't break in a breakup. And number eight, love again and again. This book is divided into three parts, solitude, compatibility, and healing. And after each part, there's a love letter and a meditation, which are so on point and therapeutic. I absolutely love the meditation and will be using it well after I finish the book, which I have and I absolutely love this book. It is so thought provoking. Some of the most things that I gained out of this book is how important it is to love yourself first, not in a narcissistic way or be self-absorbed, but in a way where you understand yourself, your values, your strengths, your weaknesses. And once you are solid, you can then share your positive energy with others as a sound individual, and then you can wholeheartedly love others. This book is absolutely insightful and inspiring. It's like a useful guide with practical advice. It's not a one size fits all, rather it's something that you implement, absorb and use. I give this book five stars. It was so amazing. I highly recommend it. You will love it. And the reason I give it five stars is, was the topic well explained and thoroughly? Yes. Was the information relevant to the point? Yes. Was the material helpful? Absolutely. Can the information be implemented in your daily life? Yes. And was the information easy to understand and was the book insightful? Absolutely. Another book by this author is Think Like a Monk. I highly recommend it. It was so good. I want to read it again. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to follow me and subscribe to this channel, Book Reviews with Parisa on YouTube, and turn the bell on for notifications. Also follow me on Instagram, Books with Parisa. Happy reading!